Hey guys, I'm back with another Switch and Firebase tutorial. Uh, last time we hooked up a simple login and sign up app, and this time I want to try and uh, add user profiles. So, all that I've added since the last project is this profile button and this uh, tap to change button. So, you can see that here on the sign up page. Now, the user can, uh, well, should be able to tap here and select a profile picture. So let's go to the sign up view controller and add a image picker so that when the user clicks that, um, they could choose a photo from their photo library. Uh, the first thing we'll do here is add a variable called image picker. And it needs to be an image picker controller. So down here, I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to instantiate the image picker. There's a few settings I want to set. Uh, we'll say allows editing, true. And ooh, source type, I'm going to set that to photo library. And then lastly, we want to set the delegate to, this, uh, to our current class. And right now we don't extend the proper delegate method, so we're going to add that at the bottom. Going to uh, Add an extension for sign up view controller, UI image picker controller, and also, oh sorry, delegate, and also a UI navigation controller delegate. It just, it's going to complain if we don't add that because the image picker has a um, navigation controller. So there's two methods we need to implement, and that's the image picker controller did cancel. So if someone cancels it, then we want to take the picker and just dismiss it. And for the did finish picking media, that's going to get called if someone actually, if they actually uh, tap an image and select an image. We're going to say, uh, well, we also want the view to dismiss. And then we need to get the image uh, that they selected. So we'll say let picked image equal info. And then there's a specific key we need to use, and I think it's a UI image. Which one is it here? Image UI picker controller edited image because uh, we're allowing them to edit the image, so we want to get the edited image. And as a UI image, and if we got that, then let's just set the profile image view, which is again this image up here. Let's set the image to the picked image. And yeah, that sounds good. Uh, one thing I forgot is that we're not we're actually responding to this tap yet. So I've hooked up the profile image view and the tap to change profile button to the open image picker method, which is right here. So all we gotta do is say image picker, or sorry, no, self present image picker, true, no. So let's run that. I'm going to sign up, tap here, and it pops up. We can select an image. And there it is, so perfect. It's exactly what we wanted. Let's try another one. And there we go. All right, so obviously now we need to actually upload the image to Firebase and then use it, save it into the user's profile because uh, not, nothing's happening with this image right now. So we're gonna put that, I think I'm gonna put that here. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna say, we're gonna upload, after we create the user, we're gonna upload the image the profile image to Firebase storage. Next, we'll uh, save the profile data to Firebase database. And then lastly, we'll dismiss the view. Uh, okay, so before we can use 
Firebase Storage or Firebase Database, we actually need to install the CocoaPod modules. Uh, right now, we only have the core and the uh, and the auth module. So I'm going to close the workspace and see where we are. I'm going to edit the pod file and just underneath the pod Firebase auth, I'm going to add Firebase Database and pod Firebase uh, storage. And just save that and type pod install. So that should be good. Okay, now we can open up a workspace again. And since we already have Firebase imported, we shouldn't need to import anything else to get the storage and database modules working. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of this class again. Just underneath the handle signup method, I'm going to add a new method called func uh, upload, upload profile picture, profile image. And we'll say image UI image, and let's add a completion. We know it's done. And we'll need a, let's see, we'll need a, a URL of the of the image. We're gonna need that returned from Firebase, so I'll just say that's a string. That's how we'll know we're good. That'll probably be optional, need to be optional. Okay, cool, so let's upload the data. Let's make a reference to Firebase storage by saying, let storage ref equals storage, storage, oops, reference, and add a child path. So I'm going to say it is, we want to store the profile picture under the user's username, or sorry, user ID. So right here, I'm going to add an ID, which means we have to get the ID from the current user. So I'll do it like this, auth, auth object, current user, UID, otherwise return, because we don't have that UID. And that's kind of why we need to do that inside. We need to call this method, let's do it here, self uh, upload profile image. We need to do that inside this block of code because we need this user object to not be nil, basically. So now we can put UID in here. That's going to be the path that the profile image is stored at in Firebase storage. It's not a database object, it's like actually like a file in Firebase. So um, let's see, how do we upload, how do we put data onto Firebase? So we can do storage ref put and we can put data. Now our image is a UI image and Firebase requires it to be data of data type. So we're first going to need to guard let image data equal UI image JPEG representation. So this is going to convert the UI image into a um, data format. So we'll just say compression zero point. And now we can use this data to put that there. Uh, metadata, let's see, what's the metadata? Let's make some let metadata equal storage metadata. Can we edit here? So these aren't really necessary, but we maybe it'd be good to put a content type. We can say it's an image JPEG. Uh, maybe image JPEG. Mm, that might be useful down the road, but we don't really need that right now. So we just put that there. And the completion returns a metadata object and an error. So let's go metadata and error in. So I'm going to assume that everything goes well if the error is nil. No. And the metadata isn't nil. Success. Uh, otherwise, 
uh, you know, failed. So if it's failed, we're gonna we'll just do self. We'll do completion nil. Otherwise, we're gonna want to pull the download URL from this metadata. What, what do we what do we have here? Ah, perfect. That's what we wanted. The download URL. And actually, it's you know what? It's a URL type. Let if let uh, URL equal. So let's get the absolute string of that. Oops. Absolute string. So we can do completion URL. Otherwise, completion no. Okay. Solid. So up here, I'm also going to put a guard for the image. So we get the image equals user, sorry, profile, image view, image, else return. We pop that image in here. Let's add a completion. Let's say URL in. And so this URL, which we uploaded, which we got here, is going to be the file path uh, for to, to download the image. So now that we have the profile image URL, we pretty much have the complete profile user data, and we can save that to the database. Uh, first, I'm going to move the change request into the completion block here. And there's one more thing we can add to this change request, and that's the, the photo URL. We can set that to this URL. I don't tend to use these um, these attributes of the user object in Firebase. I just don't find them that useful. So, but you know, if you, if you want to put this here, then that's a, definitely a good place to put it. Uh, it says that string to URL is a problem. So actually, yeah, you know, what? let's change this to URL in the completion. Then we don't really see we don't need to say absolute string here and we'll use that somewhere else. Okay, so then we commit these changes to the user object, and again, that's changing the user object, uh, the Firebase user object, but we kinda wanna save our own database object, just one that's easy to, to read and, and edit, um, you know, for whatever reason you have. I'm gonna remove the self-dismiss here. And let's create the code to actually save to the database. So underneath the upload profile image function, I'm going to add a save profile function. And that's going to take a username, string, a profile URL, uh, profile image URL. That'll be a URL type. And I think that's pretty much all I'm going to save right now into the database. So and we'll call that in here. So if the changes went through, then we can do self save user profile. We'll put the username string and the URL of the profile image. And I guess we're going to need that same completion here. Sorry, copy this here. But we're not going to need to return a URL in the completion. We're just going to save it if it uh, succeeded or not, success, which will be a bool. And we'll add the completion, success, in. Okay, so now let's actually write the code to save the profile. Now let's make a database ref. And it's kind of like the storage, same thing, so we're going to write database. Database, it gives an instance of the, of the database, and reference and then child and I'm gonna save users under the path uh, users profile and the UID oh so we need that UID let's put that where do you want to put that all right let's just get the UID similar to how we got it here at a guard and put it there so to set our data, I'll call database ref set value. Uh, I like to use set value with completion block 
which returns an error and a database reference uh, to where the data was saved. I'll, I'll get back to the value and for now I'll just put error and ref in. So to define our, our value, let's say user object and do a string to any dictionary as uh, sorry string to any and let's say that the username is username and the photo oops photo URL is profile image URL and that's our object so we'll pop that array in there and we'll say completion and it succeeds if error is nil. All right, cool. Go back up here, save profile. We send in the username, the profile image, the URL, and put that in. No, I just realized something. And that's that we kind of want to set this. Right now, this is a URL object. We're going to want the absolute string just to give it a nice clean path to save to the database. Awesome. And now if success, what's going on here? We've got a problem. Profile image not unwrapped. Okay, what happened? Oh, all right, so we're not checking here. We need to add a check if URL not equal nil. And we need to put all of this inside because that profile image may not it may not have saved properly, in which case we have a problem uh, and we'll want to handle that like, somewhere else. Error unable to save profile, to upload profile image. So if success back in here then we just do self dismiss. Let's clean this up a bit. I'll move some of these here. Okay. So that was quite a bit of code. Um, yeah, let's add a force unwrap there. That was quite a bit of code, but it should all run unless we have some issues. So Let's give that a test. All right, so let's give that a shot. Let's go sign up and let's select an image. And set a username. Shepherd at google.com. Closed. And click upload on that logged in so everything seems to have gone well. Let's check our Firebase. First we'll go to storage and see that there's a folder here called user. That's good. Uh, that's the UID of the user that was created. And there's our image, which is awesome. And you see here, this is the file path view. This download URL. This should be the URL that's saved into our database. Uh, and we can just visit that URL right now to download it. And there you go, there's the image. Cool, so if we go to database, users, profile, there's that UID again, username, commander, shepherd, and photo URL, there it is. So perfect, now you're uh, in the app, users will be able to download this user profile which contains a username and a photo URL. And that's pretty much all you need. And obviously it's just two entries right now. We'd probably want to add a few more attributes to the user profile. But that's the basic idea of what we want in our app. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to download these profiles on the client side, download the image, and display it in some kind of post format or you know, let users upload posts and things like that. So all right, we'll get to that next. Thanks for watching, guys.